Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so thankful that spring is finally here. Yes, my sister, spring is finally here and I've created this beautiful full glam for each of you. If you are interested on how I created this beautiful spring glam, please continue to watch. Starting with complexion, I wanna awaken the skin with this Mario facial spray. I've already did my skincare, but I love using this step here just to awaken the skin and next for moisturizer i'm going in with the you to the people spinach and kale whip moisturizer this moisturizer i've already given you guys how i feel about it and not only how i feel about it but how my skin loves this moisturizer it has an amazing scent skin care benefits gives me a extremely hydrated makeup application throughout the day. And I love, love, love this moisturizer. And I recommend you guys to purchase it. I purchased this one here. This is like the travel size and I think I paid maybe $20 for it, but I am going to upgrade once the Sephora sale come around the corner and purchase the larger packaging. Camera, I've already applied my Anastasia Brow Freeze adhesive and I'm letting that dry down. I cleaned my brows up with my favorite North Soft Matte Concealer in Cara Mail. And now we're gonna move over to eyes. And since this is the first day of spring, you guys, I wanna do something pinky, something warm. Yeah, it's something very soft. So I will be working from this Too Faced, Born This Way, the Neutral Mats. And I believe I did a eye look on this palette already. I'm not really sure, but this is how the shades are looking. I've already set my eyelids with the translucent powder ready for eyeshadow application. And I'm going in this beautiful brown shade and I'm using the color du jour blending brush. I'm gonna use this shade for our transition. And you guys already know, I always start on the tail end and work my way all the way up to the nose bridge area to prepare for my contour application for my nose bridge. This is a perfect guide for my nose bridge application. It helps a whole lot. And yes, you can see that this eyeshadow is buttery and easy to work with. I, I always try out eyeshadow palettes that are easy to work with. And yeah, buttery and creamy. You can see the pigmentation. And I am just blending from one end to the other and buffing that out. And as you can see, I am blending it into my brow the front of my brow as well now i'm going in with my elf camel concealer in sand and i am just applying just a little bit of that product on the eyelid because i want my eyeshadow to be pigmented and i'm using a real techniques blending brush to apply that and i'm just tapping that product once I carve out the eye shape of my eye and I just pat it down just to dry it down a little bit so it would be tacky and ready for the eyeshadow application. And we want something soft for spring. Going in this beautiful pinky shade here. This is a matte color and we're just gonna matte the eyes out today. And I'm using a Real Techniques blending brush to apply it. And I am just patting that eyeshadow shade on top of that concealer. Now I'm just buffing out the edges. For liquid liner, I'm going in with my NYX Epic Liner in Black. I'm just doing a simple wing. Going 
going back to the brows, I'm filling in my brows with the Milani Weekend Brow in Espresso, guys. And I always just fill in where product is needed. I still want that soft look to go perfect with these soft eyes. Little strands in front. Back to complexion, I'm going in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I always apply one pump on each side of my face and I massage that product in. To mattify my T-zone area, I'm going in with the Milk Pore Eclipse Primer. And I always just apply it right in this area under the eyes and over my nose as well, you guys. And my upper lip in my forehead. For foundation, I'm going in with my favorite <laughs> soft matte foundation, the NARS soft matte foundation in the shade Caracas. And I just give it a good little shake. Going in with my REL foundation brush and just pressing that product in. This coverage is medium to full coverage. Foundation is perfect for all skin types, no matter if you're dry. I mean, you can still use this foundation and just moisturize really well. Going in with my Damp Beauty Blender, making sure everything is blended out without any product sitting on top of the skin. And for contour, I'm going in the Sephora Concealer. And guys, I'm just trying something different <laughs> today. So we're gonna see what, we're gonna see how this product blends out as my contour for today. And this is in the shade Truffle. Okay, this is a beautiful blend. I am going through a lot of products that I purchase and I forget about them and of course they're not expired but I just love makeup if you're like me and love makeup you see something that you want to try you pick it up and then you know you just put it in your um, makeup collection and you forget about it sometimes I'm gonna bring I'm gonna buff out the remaining of that concealer under the jawline and I'm using a BH Cosmetics contour brush to blend that out. The dry down is amazing as well. What you guys think about this concealer for contour? I'm loving it. Get my beauty blender and just blend out it a little bit more to sheer it out. Contour, I'm going in with my Too Faced Multi Sculpt In Concealer in Warm Sand. I always apply 
the concealing shade first before I go in with the highlighting shade. For my second shade, which is my highlighting shade, I'm going in with the Sephora Concealer in 24N. Just wanna clean up that eyeshadow area. Cupid's bow, chin. I love the formula, it's very creamy. And hydrating as well. For liquid blush, I'm going in my Save Blush in Poppy. I place it right on top of that contour. And this is a beautiful coral shade. Perfect, perfect for spring. Use a wetting wild brush to blend that poppy cream blush out, poppy liquid blush out. And it's coral, but it's showing pink on camera. But it is a beautiful shade. Now I'm blending out my concealer and I'm using a color du jour blending brush. I'm starting off with the chin all ways, moving up to the cupid's bow. blending out the edges of that concealer, overlapping on that beautiful blush shade. Moving over to the nose bridge. You guys comment down below and let me know if these tutorials are helping you guys and give me some more topics like some more makeup looks you guys would like me to create for you guys and i hope y'all enjoying these tutorials just as i enjoy creating them for you guys you always want to just take your time and just tap 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 Making sure everything is blended seamless before I set with my potters. Going in with my Sephora Sand Micro Smooth Potter. And I'm using a powder puff and tapping off the excess. And I always look up and press and set. I am so hurt because I believe that they are discontinuing these powders. You guys love me. Sephora Micro Smooth Powders. And I hope that is not the case. Said, I'm going to set the nose bridge and the forehead as well. And to do a little baking, I'm going in my one size beauty translucent powder. Tap off the excess.
going in with my Sephora Mahogany Micro Smooth Powder setting the areas. Setting the remaining of my face. For the nose contour, I am going in with my Mineralize Skin Finish by MAC and Deepest Dark. Gives me the perfect airbrush bronzing look. Bronzing up the contour area. Beautiful blend right on top of that poppy blush as well. Love, love, love this. I'm setting the forehead in a cupid's bow. Now I'm going in this beautiful orange Sephora matte blush and I'm not sure what the name is you guys. I am so sorry. It's pairing perfectly with that poppy shade and the eye look and this orange you guys do you see? Beautiful. Beautiful. To the eyes I'm going in with that transitional shade just to blend that out for gel liner I'm going in my black is black Mario gel liner Bake off. I'm going in that Sephora Sand Micro Smooth Powder. I'm just using a blending brush just to press that in and blend. Pressing that powder in, softening up that nose bridge area and making sure that the product is melting in. Set the face. I'm going in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. For lashes, I'm going in my Ardell Naked Lashes in style number 429. Lashes are on. I'm loving this look, you guys. I'm going in with my L'Oreal Philolimus Black Mascara. To bring a little bit more pop to the inner corner, I'm going in this beautiful pinky shimmery shade. Pop it right in here. Just like that. The lips, I'm going in with Encourage by Rhea Beauty. Morphe Liquid Lipstick and Bond. All right, you guys, I am going to comb my hair down and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, this is a completed look. Love, love, love everything about this look, even with the inner eye, the that shimmery pink brought the eyes out. Love how the complexion is looking as well, and you guys, you follow this step-by-step -step process and you can complete this beautiful look and you can use whatever products you have. You don't have to use the same products that I use. Yes, so thank you guys so much for all of your support. Comment down below and let me know 
about some more creative looks you guys want me to create. Make sure you subscribe, like as well. Thank you for watching from start to finish. I love each of you with the love of Christ. If you have not subscribed to my inspirational channel, it will be linked down in the description box. Please do that for me. I love you guys with the love of Christ and I'll be seeing you guys real soon. God bless.